Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. Now, Eric Rathbun is the sort of uh, constructor who pops up occasionally on the channel, and then you suddenly realise it's a bit more often than you thought before, and I'm glad I just checked. Congratulations to Eric on his 10th appearance on the channel, and uh, this puzzle... This puzzle is called, fascinatingly, This Is It, I've Done It. Um, which... <laughs> Hopefully will be my comment at the end as a solver, but I suspect is referring to a construction feat that Eric has been trying to achieve for some time. It's, it's very celebratory. I love it. It's a really evocative title and uh, I'm looking forward to giving this a go and finding out what Eric has been up to, if we can work it out. Um, oh, intriguing. Yeah. Um, looking forward to that. We'll have a look in a minute in case you're just getting on with it. There's nothing unusual about the rules. If, you can, if you're can, if familiar with arrows, cages, and white dots, you can pile in. But I do want to mention, if you want to get more familiar with arrows, cages, and white dots, try our apps. There is a whole suite of them, um, including Arrow Sudoku, Killer Sudoku, and indeed Domino Sudoku. So um, all of those rule sets covered, as well as Classic and Thermo and Knight's Move and all sorts of stuff. And uh, they're great value and all available on, um, on the links under the video, along with our Patreon site where you can still play Kraken the Cryptic. Uh, there is, well, you can play it forever, but you have six days left to enter the competition and we wish you great luck if you do that. Um, hundreds of people have done it, so you'd need to be lucky to come out of the hat, but somebody will be. Um, and very well done to those who've done it, and thank you for the kind comments about the variety and types of puzzles. Excellent. So that's all on Patreon, along with loads of other stuff. Um, check out our merchandise, Sven Sudoku Pad, all on the links under the video. And... Oh, somebody was asking about the theme music yesterday. That's even mentioned under the video. Mozart's Sonata for Chile. Anyway, um, we you can ch check out a lot to do with the channel in the description field. But the first link is to this puzzle. And we're going to have a look at the rules now and have a go at the puzzle. So the rules are these. Normal Sudoku rules apply. We're going to put one to nine in every row, column, and every three by three box. Cages show their sums. And digits cannot repeat within a cage. So four different digits setting up to 21 in this cage, for instance. The digits along each arrow sum to the digit in the circled cell. So those two add up to that one. Cells joined by a white dot contain consecutive digits. We only have two such white dots given in the puzzle. And that's it. Give it a try. I'm going to start now. Um, let's get cracking. Where do we start? We get a one given seven in the puzzle in the central cell. That doesn't look like it's doing anything. None of these cages are individually very interesting in terms of the numbers. Um, the arrows are desperately short as well. What the heck's going on here? Ah. Okay, I'm going to share a secret with you. You may have heard this once before, but if you haven't, um, every row, column, and box in a Sudoku adds up to the same number, and we know what that number is, but only tell your closest friends. It's 45. Okay, so that row adds up to 45. Now, why do I care about that? Because there's a possibility that if I add up all the caged cells, which are totaled up here, I'm going to add 11. Well, I'm going to have to add the 7 as well. 11 and 20 is 31, plus 7 is 38, 59, 69, 72. Now, if I take out the 45 in the central row, if I remove that from 72... Uh, I'm left, I was hoping to be left with an interesting total, and instead I've been left with 25. I'm just going to check the maths again, because that's not what I was expecting, to be honest. 44, 51, it is 72 minus... Okay, I've done the maths wrong. 72 minus 45 is 27. That's still not an interesting total, it's... 
a very average total. So the yellow cells add up to 27. I don't know. I thought, I thought we were going to learn something and that, you know, you could make them minimum or maximum and it's not really going to be anywhere close to 27. 16 cages plus these two. I don't know. I don't know. Where do you... What's going on here? Eric, what have you done? Have a, um, this might be a video where I literally get nowhere. Oh, I... It's been a long time. It's been a long time since I was forced to go. I don't know what I'm doing. What about set theory? There is a very, very obvious... Well, now I've thought of set theory. What is set theory? Set theory stands for set equivalence theory. And it's a practice where you can go about solving certain Sudoku puzzles because of how they've been set up by considering different sets against each other. Normally sets of the digits 1 to 9. And, well... Just in case you know what set theory is, just have a look at this puzzle and consider where the sets are likely to be. And if I tell you that the arrows are key, I mean, I can't be certain that this is a set theory puzzle, but certainly an initial look at the puzzle, which went on for a bit too long, got literally nowhere. And I have got a very good idea about set theory based on these arrow shapes. So I'm now going to explain what I think is happening here. So I'm going to highlight those two rows. And I'm going to highlight these three columns. And then I'm going to eliminate... Okay, so what I've therefore highlighted is in blue, I've highlighted two sets of the digits 1 to 9. Because they're a single, every single row is a set of the digits 1 to 9. In orange, I've highlighted three sets of the digits 1 to 9. And now I'm going to eliminate items that must be exactly the same from those sets. So these six cells are the same digit in orange as they are in blue. They must be, because they're the same digit in the puzzle. So those can go. Now, I'm going to not worry so much about the same digits, but the same totals. And if I eliminate those two cells from orange and that one from blue, I'm clearly taking out the same total from the sets. So I can remove those, and I can do the same with all of these arrows, because they all have a blue circle and an orange arrow. And I'm taking those out and these and now I'm left with six blue cells and nine orange cells, and I think they must add up to the same total. Oh, and the six, of course, the six blue, I, how am I not seeing this coming? It's like I'm getting hit with a sandbag every time I have any kind of thought in this puzzle. These blue cells are the same as the yellow ones we counted earlier, which we know add up to 27. So the orange cells add up to 27. And if we keep those as minimal as possible, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3 is 12, 19, uh, 1 and... Oh. Six, twelve, nineteen. These could add up to eight. There's five degrees of freedom. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sorry. Right, they do not add up. Blue does not add up to the same as orange. Because we were looking at three sets of orange, weren't we? Three sets of one to nine in orange and two sets of one to nine in blue. Gosh, sorry. Okay. Re Recut that. We're looking at... Gosh, no, then this is very different. Right, the orange cells now 
add up to 1 set of 1 to 9 is 45, plus the blue cells, which add up to 27. And that total is 72. And that means the orange cells are absolute max with no degrees of freedom. They are 987 all over. Oh, that's beautiful, Eric. They must be a set of 987 each time. Right, I don't know if you were following my maths there. So we worked out at the start, and I'm glad I did it now, that these blues add up to 27. And we've worked out that the orange cells add up to the, the total of one group of 1 to 9, which is 45, plus the blue cells. That's what the set theory has done for us. 72 is the total of the orange cells. The only way... Well, the most you can get for three orange cells in a column, say, is 24. Three 24s are 72, so these must all be 7, 8, and 9. Now, we can, we've got a 7. <clears throat> I think we can do a lot of eliminations. So we can get rid of 7s out of those cells, but this one is in an 11 cage, and it therefore can't be a 9, because you'd have to put two 1s there. So that's an 8, and we are away now. These cells can't be an 8. This one is now definitely a 9. Those two can't be nines. Oh, and we're left with... Ah, bother. We're left with triples. I can't fill these in. I don't think the 16 cage helps particularly here. But the 8 gets a 1-2 pair to go with it. The 9 in a 13 cage gets a 1-3 pair. This pair of cells in the 16 cage... Ah, that's at least 3 and 4... So this can't be a 9 anymore, and that sorts out all the triples. Isn't that nice? So all the orange cells are done now. I might as well delete the colour. Don't need it anymore. Wow, that's really interesting. So these are either 3, 4 or 3, 5 now, I think. And this is another 1 or a 2. Oh, Eric, this is very clever. I can see how just this setup is difficult to work, but we may still have a lot to do. I don't know. Um, now, up here, it's not so obvious. <clears throat> I think there must be a two in that pair, because if they were four or five, you'd break the cage. Um, two, four is possible. Two, five... Ah, I was going to say 2-5 is possible. It is in terms of size, but it would make that another 2, I think. Yeah, so 2-6 is possible, and this is 1 or 3. Whatever that is, is in one of those two and is on this arrow. Whatever this is, is in those two and is on this <coughs> arrow. A bit stuck again now. Um, the blues add up to 27, but I don't know. That total hasn't really been helped dramatically. Sorry, I, I, I'm trying to think of the next move, and it's not, it's not at all obvious to me. Um, n uh, I don't know. These cells can't be eight or nine. Can you have a nine in the blue? Maybe you can't. To so get to 27? Yeah, you can. I don't know why not. Sorry, I'm I'm struggling a bit. I don't know what we're meant to do next. One, two, three. Nine, eight, seven. Oh dear. Um Sorry, I'm really at a bit of a dead loss here. <laughs> I 
that's a great start. Oh, don't now. I have no idea what to do, Mark. It's just annoying. I can see that seven can't be on any of these arrows. It's not very interesting. <coughs> Nine in this column is either there or there. Right, is there a reason nine can't be in the circle? The circle couldn't have an eight or a seven in it. It would I or the arrow. It would either be three, six, or four, five. It doesn't feel instinctively very interesting to me. No. no, oh, nine here would keep nine out of the cage. Oh, that's slightly interesting. If that was a nine, this would have to be a nine. I suppose if that was a nine, this would have to be a nine. That's true. Now, does that mean nine? Right, maybe nine in row six. I don't know. Nine in row six seems to be in one of those three cells. Being there or there would keep it out of here. That's kind of what I was saying though. If nine is here, it must be here. Nine can be in a 20 or 21 cage quite comfortably. I don't know. I don't think this is really very helpful. I need to think a bit harder about what's going on here. I mean, I suppose similarly, eight in the final column is in one of those two places. But I just don't know what that means for me. Is it about ones and twos more? That, there's one there, one there. There aren't any here. In fact, that sees one, two, a three, and a nine, eight, seven, and is four, five, six. And so does this. It sees one, three, and a two, and nine, eight, seven. It's just, it's just not very interesting, though. That's our only chance for three in a corner. Um, It's got to be about nines, hasn't it? It's got to be about nines in these mid in these middle rows. What's going on with nines in the middle rows? Come on, Mark. If there was a nine there, this is either three, six. Oh, look at that! It just doesn't work. I, how is that not obvious from the first go? Right, I said, if there's a nine here, because you can't put one or two in these cells, these are three, six, and four, five. Uh, they're either three, six, or four, five. Now, the question that I didn't ask before that is very important is where do one, two go in box one in that case? And the answer is, because they're both there looking at those cells, if they can't go in here, they would have to go in these cells. And that would break this one. If one and two were both there, you can't fill in that cell. So that's not a nine, apparently. I don't know. Is that clear? Seems very obscure. I mean, it see once you see that question, it's obvious. But I suppose I was earlier saying that there had to be a one or a two there. And that was in conflict with the idea that when I said if there's a nine there, there's a three, six or a four, five there. Difficult to pencil mark either a one or two in one of two positions, and that's probably my problem. Um, right, nine there. And look, that is helpful. You can't put nine here because of the white dot. That's what this white dot's doing. So nine in row eight is now here. It can't be on the old arrow. So one of these is a nine. 
Now that hasn't done anything for nine in row four or six. Well, it has. One of those is a nine. And that means this isn't a nine. I worked that out earlier because they both see it. So in fact, one of these two is a nine in a circle and can't have eight or seven on its arrow. So has three, six or four, five. And Oh, look, that's lovely. If this was a 9, it's not going to work because of where 1 and 2 go in this column. They can't go in this box with the 1, 2 pair. They'd have to go here. But that can't be a 3 because we know there's a 3 there. So that's not a 9. Lovely. That's a 9. Oh, this is clever. Uh, that is definitely a 9 now. Now, this one can't have one or two on its arrow because of the eight and seven in the column. But we don't have the constraints over one and two being in the central box annoyingly. So I can't just write them on that and say it's a three, which would be lovely and would be quite progressive. Um, the last nine in the grid is going to be, I mean, we've got this X wing left. Oh, hang on. Can that be a nine? Yes. Right, let's do some work on eights. Yes, eight in this box is in one of those two. Eight in box one is in one of those two. Because this nine has taken up quite an important space. Now, let's keep going with eights, if we can. Eight over here is in one of these three. Is it the same? I don't know. Is there a same sort of thing? If it was in one of those two, it can't be in there. Ah, oh, hang on. This can't be more than seven. Um... These can't add up to more than 16. They must include 1, 2, and 3. So there is a 1 or a 2 on that arrow, and there is a 1 or a 2 on this arrow. There's, I don't know. I, I missed how this was helpful before, so I need to think about it now. I don't think it does anything. I was wondering if 7 had to be in one of these circles. But I think they could be 6-4 or 6-5. Oh, no, actually, let's just think. Oh, let's just think about what goes in this circle. Because this sees quite a lot of digits. Ah, this is important. What does go into this circle? And I'm going to say not... Well, not 6... because it couldn't go anywhere in box three, box seven. That's weird. So whatever is in this circle can't be in these cells. It's not nine or eight, so it can't be in that cell either, and it can't be in that cell. So it's one of the digits in these ones. So it's three, four, five, or seven. It can't be three. This can't be a one, two pair because of that. It can't be four because you can't have a three here because there's a three down there. So now it's five or seven. If it was five, if it was five, these cells would add up. This was a problem, wasn't it? These cells would add up to 14 and they're five cells, which must add up to at least 15. That is a seven. Ta-da! This is 7 by Sudoku now. Wow, this is weird, this puzzle. I'm really struggling with understand. I mean, I'm just stumbling on these deductions one by one, which is fine. I mean, I'm happy to do it that way. It's how I do puzzles, basically. But it feels like I should be gaining a greater appreciation of what's going on. Anyway, 
I will keep going my way. That is four, five, or six now. We knew there was going to be a one or a two on this. Um, oh, that's a seven. That's just Sudoku since I got this one. Uh, so there's seven in one of these two cells. This is getting lower and lower. Uh, it can't... Oh, it could be an eight, actually. No, maybe it's not. Eight is in one of those cells. This can't be nine. Ah, that sorted out the last of the nines. Uh, nine is in these two cells. Four, five, or six. Uh, so these two... Right, where does that four, five, or six, whatever this digit is, it doesn't go in those cells or in this box. So it must go on this arrow. I'm definitely giving that a little coloring. Green there and green on that arrow. And then up here somewhere. So that is the higher digit on the seven arrow. The lower digit is not a three, because three is in one of those. This is either a one, two, a one, six, or a two, five arrow. So that can't be four anymore. It's five or six. One and two are used up there. Seven, nine, eight. What does eight go with here? Something out of four, five, and six. Ah, oh, this is doing my head in completely. Look, eight can't be in any of these cells. Eight is in one of those two and one of those two. I don't know, it's puzzling to me how sevens got a bit better done than eights did. Ah, interesting, if that was an eight, this couldn't be three five because of that arrow, and it couldn't be one seven because of that, so it would have to be two six. Oh, this seven can't have a two on its arrow. So this is either one, six or three, four. So what can this be? It can't be nine, seven, one, three or two. Four, five, six or eight. I'm pretty sure it can't be four because you'd have one three there and you couldn't make up this arrow. If it was five, I suppose this could be 3, 2. Now, I need to look for more of these relationships. That was really interesting. Although I don't think there's anywhere else it applies. That's annoying. Um, no, hang on. Whatever's here... Yes, if this isn't 8... Right, this can't be 5 because five would then have to be in this group of cells and in this group of cells, and it's not. So this is six or eight. Now it could be eight if you had an eight there, or it's six, and then six is in one of these cells, and then six is definitely on this arrow. So this arrow would be 6, 1. The 6 there would need 2, 4 here. And there's nowhere for 6 in the column. No, hang on, there was. It was 6, 1. Bother. Right. But something felt wrong with that. If this is 6, then the 6 in the column is there. That is 7, 6, 1. Now this is a 2, 4 arrow because it can't have a 1. And there's nowhere for 3 in the column then. Oh, okay, the simpler thing... Well, it's not simpler. But, it, it, okay, that works, though. That's really nice. If this is 6, the 6 in the column is there, and then there's nowhere for 3 in the column. 
just like that. Fantastic. So this is eight. Oh, that's complicated. Oh, it feels complicated. It's lovely. It's lovely is what it is. That is now eight. That fixes eight and seven now. Can I put seven in one of these two? I bet it's not in the white dot. It would be with six here. This is why I don't do much betting. Um, one and three are used up there. This is a five. That's all it can be. So that's not five in the corner. Now, oh, I haven't thought about these blue cells in a long time. They're adding up to 27 somehow, aren't they? <clears throat> oh no, let's think about this eight. Arrow. Oh, well, I want to. Whatever that is, is in those cells and on this arrow. So it's definite, So it's an odd mix and it doesn't have a 7 in. Aha! It's a 3-5 and that was a 3. Which repeats here and on that arrow. Yes, that is not 3-4. That's 1-6. This is 2-4 now. This is also a 2-4 pair. This is a 5-6 pair. Now, they add up to 11. What's this target? 21, I think that said. Yes. So these add up to 10. They don't include a 6 or a 7 or a 9. They are 8, 2. Lovely. 8 there, 2 there. We've done the 8 now. This not being now a 9, 8 or 7 might be interesting and maybe that's a good thing to come back to. But for now, the two is doing some Sudoku. We get one, two, three, one. The two gives me four, two. These are from four, five, six and include a four. What's the total in this box? 20. Nine and four is 13. Plus either five or six leaves either two or one. It's got to be a one. I'm going to be able to do that in a moment. Um... That is a 4-6 pair, and that works fine. Oh, well, I can do that by Sudoku. So I never needed to add up these blues. 10, 18, 20, 21, 27, exactly the total I was looking for. Blue can disappear out of the grid. This is so clever. That is a 3-5 pair in the row. Which is going to use up 3 and 5. Now, I was going to come back to this arrow circle nine eight seven two one this is well okay let's put in three four five or six we'll immediately find the reason it can't be three there isn't one here we have used three and five once we've put one of them in there the other one goes on this arrow so you can't use three or five on this arrow so that's not a four if it's a 3, it's 2, 1. If it's a 5, it's 1, 4. And if it's a 6, oh, then it's 2, 4. So these are from 1, 2, and 4. I don't know. I, I'm sure this is done somehow, and I'm just not spotting it. Oh, let's look here. We've got... Oh, we've got a 6 in the corner. 6, 9, 7. This is a 1, 2 pair with a four there. That can't be four. There's a one, two pair in the bottom row. These are from three, four, five. This is either, either adds up to five or six. Whatever digit it is goes on that right. So if that's a 5, this is 5, 2. Then this is 1, 4, and that's a 6. If that's a 6, this is 6, 1. I think we're getting a 4 definitely onto this arrow. If that's a 5, 2 is gone here, and that's 1, 4. If that's a 6, 1 is gone here. And that's 2, 4. So again...
Right, this, these can't both be 2, 4. Well, if uh, I was going to say because of that cell, but actually it's because those couldn't both be 6. And they can't both be 1, 4, because these would both be 5. Um, oh, but this one I don't know, it definitely uses a 4. This is, I mean, I'm sure this is all thoroughly resolved now, and I can't see it at all. But I feel, I feel like I'm not as stuck as I was earlier on, which is a huge relief. If there's a four in one of those, that's not a four. Now the four in the column has to be here. This is a three, four pair. Oh, look, it all comes out like this. That's weird, isn't it? 14, there's a two, maybe not to you. There's a two there. That is now a one, six pair. Green is a six. That's a two, four pair. That 2-4 pair sees this cell, which becomes a 1. That at least resolves 6 and 1 over here. This can't be 6 anymore, which was obvious from that. In fact, 4, 6. This is a known digit. It's a 4. That is 3 or 5. And we get that far now. That has become a 5 in the corner. Still got a chance at three in the corner here. Ah, four there makes this a three-six pair. And that three-five pair is an X-wing on threes. This can't be three anymore. And we do get three in the corner. That's three in the corner. Proving its position. Five and eight there. This is a one-three-six triple. In fact, that's a three. One and six. In fact, that's a six by Sudoku. Six is next to not five, so seven here. This cell is a three. Now I'm finishing off, I think. Um, he says wrongly. That's a four, five pair. Four, five, nine, three, six. Helicopter alert outside. Maverick has transferred vehicle. This is a 7 and a 1. That 1 is going to unwind all of columns, uh, rows 7 and 8, I think. 5 and 3 there. 8 and 5 there. This is very clever. 8, 2, 2, 1. This is now a 5, yes. We do get a 3 in the circle, which I'm surprised about, in the spotlight. Um, and that's a five, that's a four, that's a two, four and six at the top, and four and five at the bottom. What? Let's get rid of the green before we do that. Five there and four there, and that is the solution. What a fantastic puzzle. Solve counter three. I suppose it's been on Logic Masters Germany with a, I don't know, somebody else must have Oh, maybe a tester. I don't know. Converted this into F puzzles. Anyway, there we go. That is the solution to... Well, I can now say, this is it. I've done it. But that is really clever, Eric. I think... I My guess is that Eric was working for a long time on making this exact arrow pattern work with a set theory break-in um, in rows four and six and columns two, five, eight. And he finally found a way to make it work and solvable. That's my guess. I don't know. I don't probably know quite enough about the really clever end of constructing to tell you that, but it is a brilliant construction and you did, you did do it and it is brilliant. In fact, these white dots, they were so significant in terms of the nines. That was lovely as well. Really good puzzle. Thank you for following along with me. That's brilliant. Um, very difficult, I think. Certainly impossible without set theory. And and it's it's a mark of a good puzzle, and it's pretty hard even with the set theory known and in it. That was clever stuff. Um, sorry, I'm just a bit... I always feel I don't do justice to how good these are. Um, and we get such joy out of... You know, I feel like every day is a school day on this channel. You're learning every day. And 
people sometimes are very kind enough to call us the experts in the comments, but it's the constructors who are the experts. We're learning every day instead from them. It's great fun. Thank you for following and uh, hope Sorry, I cut myself off there. I hope to see you soon again on the channel. Bye for now. Thank you.